Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to answer if Devon Energy stock is a buy, sell, or a hold. To answer the question, I'm going to look at revenue, profits, cash flow, and valuation. So let's jump right in, starting with revenue. Now, looking at Devon Energy's 10 year history of trailing 12 month revenue, you can see the cyclical nature of the business. Oil prices rise, the company's revenue rise. Oil prices fall, the company's revenue falls. Now, it's not a direct one-to-one -one relationship as simply as I stated it there, but you can understand the correlation between oil prices and Devon Energy's revenue. And that will remain the case longer term. So if oil prices remain elevated, now in the last six or seven weeks, oil prices have increased meaningfully. So that's going to be good news for Devon Energy when it reports its next quarter's revenue, especially if prices remain elevated, revenue could continue to be high for the rest of the year. Now, the good thing about Devon Energy is when its revenue increases, it really shows up in profitability. You could see here Devon Energy's operating profit margin in the trailing 12 months. When revenues have been higher, its operating profit margin has ex exploded up to 37% in, in recent uh, months. So that's the good news with this business is that it does demonstrate a direct correlation between rising revenue and rising profitability. And when the company does experience declining revenue, then you can see profitability falls as well. It can turn negative as it has in recent times. You can look at in 2016, operating margin fell as low as negative 15%. And again, in 2021, it fell as low as close to negative 15%. So it is, it is fluctuating, it is cyclical, and that's something that Devon Energy investors need to understand and need to decide if that's okay for them or not. The good news is even when profitability falls and turns negative, Devon Energy's cash flow remains positive. I've got a chart here of 10 years of history of Devon Energy's cash flow from operations. And it's been positive throughout, even though it has fluctuated up and down again, like profitability, it's remained positive. As you can see, the zero lower bound here has not been approached or reached. And when revenue does explode, it does a positive impact to cash flow from operations, 7 billion in the most recent trailing 12 months. Now, you might ask, well, how is it that cash flow remains positive when profitability goes negative? And that would be a good question. The answer to that for Devon Energy would be because of a significant amount of its expenses are non-cash, namely depreciation and amortization. That's a non-cash expense that Devon Energy takes, but it doesn't have to pay out in cash. And so that makes its profitability look worse and it makes its cash flow look better. Uh, I won't get into the details of depreciation and amortization. That's more for an accounting video, but just needless to say, that's why the difference exists between Devon Energy's profit margins and cash flow from operation. And finally, the last thing I'll look at is valuation. And Devon Energy is trading at close to the lowest price it has traded for going back to January of 2022, trading at a forward price to earnings of 7.93. So the stock is not expensive. It's trading at less than half the valuation of the average stock in the S&P 500, according to this financial metric. So longer term, yes, the world is moving away from oil as an energy source. However, that transition is going to take years, maybe decades. So when you're investing in Devon Energy stock, this is not one that you're thinking about for the next 40 or 50 years. This is one you're thinking about at most for the next two decades. Still, I would say at this valuation, given its excellent prospects for cash flow, I would say Devon Energy stock is a buy. Devon Energy stock is a buy, in my opinion.
I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.